Ooh, big explosion. And the lights come on. Welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider 1. We're on, I don't even know what number level this is. I think it's 15. It's Atlantis now. And let's get started. I'm feeling a lot better than I was, so I figured I'd get this level out of the way. It's pretty straightforward. Um, now, these incubators, when you see those little arms wiggle up and down like that, it means they're active. And there's only one in this level that's not wiggly. Or Yes, when they're active, a mutant comes out. Where's it going? Why are you running? I'm not complaining, but still. Um, what was I doing? I think there's an item in the corner somewhere. There's one more active incubator, the one on the left. Yeah, if you get far enough away from the mutants, they'll just start shooting either fireballs or toxic spit things. Grab these and go to the left first. This door will open, and you can go up. And to the left, oop, not here, over here. And don't fall through the floor, and grab this medi pack. Now, there are shotgun shells in the center of the room there, but as you go there, um... I don't think it's moving, but a flying mutant will come out. Yeah. Yeah. Just grab the shells. The switch is on the other side, actually. It's in the corner. Right here. Oh, pull it. Thank you. And that opens this door, which, guess what it leads to? Another switch. And guess what this opens? Nope, you're wrong. It leads to another switch. And that will open, and you'll want to get some distance. Whoops. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, well. Yeah, see, that one's active now. And I'm going to use the... Those are not the Uzis. I want the Uzis. Yes. Was that a flying mutant? I couldn't tell. I think it was. But yes, now, because I fell like an idiot, I have to go all the way back up. I hear a weird beeping, and I can't tell if it's my game or if it's outside. Pull this last switch. And that opens the door in the center. And this opens automatically. As you can see. Um, ah. First secret. I, I couldn't, I had to look it up in a walkthrough. I couldn't find it.
gonna use a medic. Now I've never. I just heard another monster. Uh, you can see one way up there. They're like all preset. And then when you don't trigger them, they're like frozen. It's kind of funny. Yeah, here it is. Ooh. That, um. That stuff coming out of the lava will hurt you. Well, not you, it will hurt Lara. This is secret number one. It was, I have no idea what the first thing was I picked up, but there's a medipack and some Uzi clips. I couldn't tell if they were magnum um, clips or shotgun shells. Um. Ah! Ah, yeah. This, um, was where we just were. There's a ledge on the left there. We would have jumped here and gone through the blades, but because we went the secret way, we didn't have to. And now... Um... Grab that. Oh my god, I thought she wasn't gonna grab that. switch. Ah. I actually apologize for my last video. That was... I mean, I can't help it if it freezes, but I mean, I just... What can I say? I was sick. <laughs> it was just a cold, but at the same time, it was like a really, really bad cold. That, um, big incubator is active, but it won't activate until you jump over it, so pretty safe. I mean, you can kill it if you want to, but I am just gonna keep going. It won't follow you. Ooh, a save crystal. Ah, yes. Secret number two. You, I mean, I can't see it, and I doubt I'll be able to see it once I put it up on YouTube. But, there's, um... I actually found it on my own. There's this little alcove up there that you can get to. Okay, and be careful here. There are boulder traps. And spike traps, and... Yes. It's, um, usually, for the timed run, I usually kind of line my jump up and jump right to there. But, um... There's another boulder that'll come that way. But I think... We can do this. Uh, oh shoot. Jump! That was an interesting maneuver. Yeah, there are squares here. You can't see them because they're all the same color, kinda. But, um. Okay, that was stupid. The secret number two. And let's see, it is. A large mini pack and some uh, Uzi clips and Magnum clips. Now, um, in the water, there's a, a lever, but you don't want to pull it yet because there's another switch you need to pull. Um, 
um, behind that door and that door on the right there, that weird fleshy veiny looking door, is a room and right now there are three chutes and they're closed. So you need to pull this switch to open them and it does something. It, I mean, I know it like releases three lava streams into the room, but I've never seen the room while the chutes were closed, so I don't know how they, how it alters the turn. Just pull the switch before you go in the room. That's all I'm trying to say. Yes. And now... I'm going to go this way. Just because I feel like if I jump, it'll she'll just land right on this square here and die. And I just, I feel like that's the kind of luck I'm having today. Let's just switch. That's uh, it's over there. Yes. Oh, lever. Lever, lever, American, English, whatever. Now, this is a timed, um, thing. Oof. And you have plenty of time to make it. Yeah. There, those three chutes are open now. And only the top tiles are animated because I guess the developers were lazy, you know, or... I don't know. Ah, okay. Yes. You have plenty of time to get in here. Just be careful not to fall into the lava. And a save crystal. Let's see, what's up here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a, a pit. With spikes. It's just a random pit in the hallway of spikes. Did I miss something? No. Okay, I know where I am. Let's pick up the shells. Bullet, Lara. Bullet. It's- I have a, a hard time getting her to pick anything up underwater. Because if she's- while she's swimming, if I'm holding the A button to make her pick something up, she'll, like, boost forward really fast, and it's really annoying. Those blades won't activate, um, until you go through the door there. And I guess the reason is because a uh, mutant comes at you after you go through. I guess it's kind of make it to make it harder to jump through. So... And this mutant has pushed me off so many times. Like, I can't even... More Uzi clips. A lot more. Um, yeah, I want to get the magnums. Oh god, this room. Oh, where's the... Where's the exit? There it is. Yes. I've somehow seemed to have acquired some kind of photographic memory. 
which I've never had before. Or at least a very good memory. Let's see if there's a save crystal there. But yes, the switches are one and two, three, four, and oops, five. Now you only need to push one, three, and four. Um, two and five activate these incubators. I forget what, what, oh, one. I hope I'm not right. I mean, I hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> I think, um, pulling switch four, the middle, the bright one there, I think it activates one of the incubators, but you don't have to actually fight the mutant. Second door. Oh yeah, the, p the whole point of pulling the switches is to um, open the three doors. Uh, these- whoa! Whoa! Yeah, that last one activated a mutant. Out my butt! Let's go through here. Right, this this level oh, it's dark. This level I don't want to say it's easy, but it's simple in the sense that um. It's pretty much straightforward, like a straight line. Just follow the path. There's not really a lot of, um... What am I trying to say? It's a huge level, but it's like a, a linear. That's the word I'm looking for. Now there's a trick to this boulder. Either you pull that movable block out in the path of the boulder, and then go all the way around and pull the switch again to reset the boulder, or you do it the easy way and just kind of glitch Alara into the side. Yeah, that, that's much more simple. Yep. There's only one mutant. Sometimes one of the levels has two mutants. Uh, I see one up there. I can see its wings. Another save crystal. Forget it. I'm taking the Uzis out. This takes too long. Ooh! Yeah, I just realized you don't want to fall down there. Thank you for blowing up in my face. Yes. Um, jump on the, the nasty red veiny pulsy bits. If you try and jump on the tan bits, you'll slide off. And Probably die. My nose is itchy. Okay. Yes, you will die very badly, muchly, very a lot. Be dead. Shotgun shells, a large medi pack, and I think those were Uzi clips I picked up on the other side. Once again, it looks difficult, but it's really not. Yes. Okay. Oh, shoot. Where did you come? 
come from? Okay, I don't actually remember there being a, a loose one in here, but okay. Make sure you watch out for it, I guess. And over here. Where is it? Oh my god. Why did I use a large knife? I have no idea. Where am I? I'm all lost now. The moaning and groaning that you hear there is... Did I already pick these up? I didn't think I did. Hmm. They're actually to the left. You don't um, see them until you jump across. Yes, jump at the um, that bit that's kind of sticking out. Ah! Um, these things shoot at you a lot, so. Get rid of them this way. There's one. <sighs> this pulsy, bubbly texture tile is really bothering me. It's so gross. Ugh. There are definitely two there. Where's the other one? I guess it doesn't really matter right now. Oh. You can walk on this bit here. And that is how you get across. And run and jump. Because I'm paranoid that Lara's gonna fall. <laughs> A lot of trouble seeing Uzi clips for some reason, I guess. Uh, that, that's a slope, so be careful with that as well. Just run and jump, and then pull this block out, and there will be a door, and it will be open because I just opened it. Wow, you're so smart! Shut up, Lara. You've been quiet this whole time. Why can't you be quiet now? Because you're stupid. Yeah. Why did that make me jump? I knew they were there. Where am I? Did I kill the other mutant? I I must have. I don't. That's weird. I, I don't remember killing it. Maddie pack. Oh, what's that? Oh, who's eclipse? Let's see. Is this where I think it is? No, it is not. Yeah, they can follow you through these doors. It's rare, but they can. Why? Oh 
my god, this part... Uh, it's a bunch of simple, easy jumps. You know, you jump across, you pull a, a switch that changes the height of these pillars, and you just keep jumping. But for some reason, I always mess up and fall in the lava somehow. I don't know if it's just I'm careless, or I'm just rushing, or if it's a glitch, I, I don't know. But like, she won't jump at the edges, she'll just run off. So I'm like, I'm trying to be like, extra careful here. Usually I can make it in there on the first try. And pull this um, switch in here. And apparently that odd clicking noise is the sound that columns make as they rise and fall. Uh, it's one of the more mysterious sound effects in the game. Not really sure what it's supposed to represent. Ah. Yes, this is secret number, um, I don't, what? I have no idea what that noise, there is a noise in my house, like a tapping, but, um, Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this, um, tile there that doesn't have a gold pattern on it, it opens up a door at the top of the slope. I think I already had the user's Is it dead? I think it's dead. Yes, step on it and then um, just right up here do, 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 on the right. I wish I could remember what number secret this is and if I have missed one or not. Numb, but it just felt like oh this this hallway is mean do not pull that switch because that lava will suddenly rush at Lara's beautiful face and kill her however if you make it back here in time it won't it won't touch her it'll stop on this tile here what you have to do is climb up here and she will be safe and I believe this is the last, um, yeah, the last platform. This one right up above us, up, up above us, yeah, that's gonna be the bane of my existence, that next battle. But we're not there yet, so, <laughs> why worry? Well, actually, <laughs> I am kind of worried that I've missed a secret. I I can't seem to remember where it is. Oh, this <laughs> this um. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. Overkill, I guess? Sorry. 
I had to wipe my knees. Ah. Yeah, as you can see, there are dart traps, blade trap, and a boulder. So, just up here and drop back down. The boulder deactivates the trap, and all you have to do is just ignore the darts, and you'll be safe. Why can't I remember where this other secret is? Oh, anyway. Here are the three tomb, uh, thrones. Yes, that one has an M. And that one has a T. And that one has a Q. Which stands for the name of each of the rulers, Natla, T, T, Hoken, T, Hoken? I, I still don't remember how to pronounce it. T, T, whatever, and Qualopec. Oh, and, um, bit of a trick here. Those two switches and trap doors I just passed, um... You can go down either of them, they lead to the same place. But, a little trick here. You can climb up and immediately do a left flip to the left. You will end up where those trap doors lead to this switch here, which opens the door between the um, trap doors. Yeah. I knew my health was low, I didn't think it was that low. Yes. The one on the left has a spike trap, the one on the right has a boulder trap, and a lava pit. Uh, I don't feel like going down either of them, so I won't. Yeah. From here. Pick these up first. And that one right there is active. It doesn't look it, but it is. Why is it not breaking? Oh, typical centaur fight, just flip and it's dead. Next, this, and my voice just broke, <clears throat> sorry. Hey, how did I miss this? Right, um, those incubators up there, they are active now, but I don't think they'll open unless you step on those ramps, or in the vicinity of the ramps at least. Uh, very, uh, how do you say, interesting bit here. And I found that these guys don't attack you if you stay here in this little space. And, yeah, you might notice someone coming towards us. Hello there, who are you? Kind of looks like a mixture of E.T. and I don't even know. But this, this is this is Meat Lara, Bacon Lara, Flesh Girl, Flesh Lara, whatever you want to call her. She. Oh. Okay, that. <laughs> oh, that's amusing. I don't know why, but it's I find it so much fun just to dive. I just like to make them run into each other. I don't know why, but it's fun. Yes, this girl mimics Lara's moves, including shooting. So, if you try and shoot her, you will effectively shoot yourself and take damage. And I don't 
for whatever reason, you have to kill her, or... I don't, I don't even think she dies. She just falls into this pit here, full of lava. When you pull the switch, this door will open. And where she's standing right there, across the room, is where you have to stand to make her fall into this pit. And you have, um, like, a good bit of time to do this. Yeah, she fell in. <laughs> Ooh. Now, um, on a website I was looking through said, don't save and reload because she might get stuck. But what had happened to me was I'd gotten past this point and I had died. And when I came back, she was stuck for Lara's head. She was dead. For uh, She was dead. Meet Lara was dead and stuck in the corner of that pillar over there. So I guess just be careful where you die. Because if she's stuck, you have to reload your game. Yeah, I don't think she's dead, because I can see her head moving. I think. Or maybe she is. I don't know. No, she's not. I definitely did just see. Yeah. She pulls her gums out. She's not dead. Why am I still going on about this? I still feel as though I've missed a secret, and this is driving me insane. Oh, and there's a centaur. Whoa, buddy, why are you so close? Go away, go away. Oh my god, shoot. Die. You know what? I I give up. I have to. I have a walkthrough open right next to me, so I have to look up where this third secret is, or else I'm gonna die. Wait, no. Oh my God! I caught the third secret already, didn't I? Because it was... Oh, there's more mutants. I thought. Wasn't there? Oh. Man, I'm really losing it. You know why I think I got confused is because I don't ever remember getting the first secret. But there is the one under the ledge at the beginning of the level. There was the one at the top of the pyramid, and then there was the secret where you step on the tile that doesn't have the gold filigree, decoration, gold lines, whatever you want to call it. Did that door just open? Oh. Oh, why? A weird noise. Uh, yes, that one you pull first. This is timed and it's incredibly finicky. And now is really not a good time for me to have to sneeze. <coughs> Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm not quite well yet.
I'm still a little stuffy. That is not what I wanted to do. Pull it, Lara. Run faster, Lara. Okay. Oh, I had a lot more time left. I was rushing my butt off. I could have waited. Pick some stuff up first. I th think those Uzi clips are the only pickups. Um, yeah, this, this, um, this was the end of the level. So I will say... Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode, which will be the Great... No. The... Is it the Great Pyramid? I think it's the Great Pyramid. But, yes. Thank you for watching, and enjoy this cutscene. You can't do this. We condemn you, Nakla of Atlantis, for your crimes. For the flagrant misuse of your powers. And for robbing us of our... You can't, I... Breaking the free bond of consent that our people are ruled and secured under. And invading Teopan and myself with our army. Our warriors empty from our pyramid. So that you can use the pyramid. Its powers of creation for your own mindless destruction. Mindless? Look at you! Neither of you have one squirt of inventive juice in your heads. Wasters. Let's just do it. Tihokan! You use the sacramental place as a source of individual pleasure. As some freak factory. They're survivalists, a new generation. A slaughter heap now. And you, we're gonna lock you in limbo. Make your veins, heart, feet. And that diseased brain sticks solid with frozen blood. Greet your eternal unrest, Natla! You won't rest either, or your damned continent will be in death. Back again. And you. For a grand reopening, I assume. Evolution's in a rut. Natural selection at an all-time low. Shipping out fresh meat will incite territorial rages again. Will strengthen and advance us. Even create new breeds. Kind of evolution on steroids, then. A kick in the pants. Those runts Qualapec and Tihokan had no idea. The cataclysm of Atlantis struck a race of langering wimps plummeted them to the very basics of survival again. It shouldn't happen like that. Or like this. Hatching commences in 15 seconds. Too late for abortions now. Not without the heart of the operation. No!